Hello, it's Nikki and welcome back. Today I want to talk about passive income and give you some context and some insider knowledge here. Because I worked out the other day, I've been making passive income for 10 years. And quite frankly, if I'd compared that to the previous 10 years where I felt like I was running all over the shop, all day and all night trying to make ends meet, um, I just didn't really think that it was possible. And I didn't really understand how the internet worked. I mean, I did, like I knew, but I didn't think that those sorts of things could happen for me. I thought they could happen to other people. And when I was first learning about passive income, I guess I really started to tune into the conversation in about... 2012, 2013. That's right, because around 2012, I was driving a lot. So I was on the road three hours a day. um, And I really got stuck into podcasts. And a lot of them were American. It felt like uh, stateside was very much Uh, ahead of us in the UK. I mean, I think still people in the UK are a bit like passive income. What do you mean? Um, What are you just lazy? Or like, there's all these things, which is what I'm going to go into today. Um, And I think for a long time, passive income was given a bit of a bad rep um, for, well, I can give you two reasons today. One was, I don't think that many of the people who were talking about it were being honest. So they would share the final piece of like, I just work two hours a day and I make X number of thousand dollars every single second of that. And for people who were starting out, they'd be like, what? How? How are you doing that? And maybe they weren't being honest about the numbers. So maybe they were paying for Facebook ads and they didn't really necessarily factor that in. They just shared the kind of jazzy numbers. So I think there was a lot of skepticism around that because it was only a portion of the story. And I'm not saying that people uh, should share everything or should have to share everything on the internet. But I think we have to be really careful with the claims. If we are there to educate people, to show other people how we do it, I think we have to be honest about what's going on around that. The second thing that I really noticed that I think maybe put people off was this very... um, one-sided story of passive income, which was the sort of the bro marketer uh, story, the protein shake, the nomadic lifestyle, working from a beach, you know, the cat backwards, the gold car, you know the thing shouting at you on the internet, uh, you know, all those adverts like, hi, if you want to do this too, and you're like, whoa, I've just woken up. I don't know if I, if I want to, give me a minute. Um, but as I've gone through this over the last 10 years, I've come into so many interactions and work with thousands of clients ar- around this area because many of us don't necessarily have that driver to make passive income so we can spend all day on the beach. Um, I know for me, beach life and just being there all day, A, it's not really conducive to how I live my life because I live in London. I love living in a city. It's great. I've lived here for the last 23 years. I've got kids in school and all the rest of it. And also for me, I love the fact that my business and my life is becoming more and more separate. So when I'm working, I'm really working. And when I'm off, I'm putting my phone to one side and I'm, I was going to say I'm completely present with my children. That, that's a lie. That is a lie. Um, I endeavor, I endeavor to be completely present with my children, but you know, sometimes stuff comes in. So I think for people who were watching this passive income story unfold, they were looking at that narrative and going, well, maybe that's not for me then, because, well, I don't want to be on a beach, and I don't want to shout at people, and I don't want to uh, talk about, like, you know, do the flashing of the cash, etc. But the more people that I've spoken to and coached, passive income is so much more than that. So many people have so many other components of their life. Maybe they might have 
you know, they might be available um, of the hours of nine till five, but actually the amount of time that they have to work once they've done drop-offs or if they have children around, um, maybe they're caring for somebody, so they have to um, take an elderly parent. And um, certainly, like, I'm not saving lives in this moment, but even in the last fortnight, there have been three additional things that I've needed to be at um, at my kids' school for, for both of them, which has involved an extra hour, four hours of being at school, doing something in that regard, and not spending that four hours on my business. But yet, my business has still grown in that time because I have set it up so that that can be the case. And so I want you to think today about what your impressions are of passive income. And maybe take a journal out, maybe go for a walk, have a think, speak into your phone, whatever you like to do. And think about your perceptions of um passive income? Do you have judgments around it? Um, Have you heard bad stories from it? Um, Is there something that is holding you back or going, "Mm, no, I don't know if that's for me? Um, Bring them all to the table. You can share them in the comments as well. I would love to hear them. Because I think once we do this first phase of understanding how we feel about it, we can then move into a second stage because maybe alongside that you're like, yeah, but I would really like to still earn it. That that would be great. Extra money every single month. Once we can understand the judgment and where we are, from there, we can start to build a plan. And this is very much about you doing this on your terms. You don't have to follow a passive income formula, as it were. You can just do it whenever you like. Lots of love and I'll see you in the next passive income one. Um, Oh, by the way, all the money ones, if you ever want to go and find them, they're all on my YouTube channel. Uh, They're all in the money uh, playlist and usually I use a green title. So you can find them. If you want more money stuff, you can find them easily. Lots of love. Bye.